right, so Paige McConnell is out with a new album. And, uh, you know, we got the Mike and Leo album. We've got plenty of Trey stuff. We had Trey and Paige together, you know, rearranging some songs. And now Paige McConnell. And this is, a, you know, if you liked Vita Blue, you liked that album years ago that had uh, Runaway Bride on it. This is a little bit of a turn in a different direction for Paige. You know, maybe if you like the Tower Jam or those secret sets at the Fish Festivals, maybe this is almost like, I mean, I guess it's music and their songs, but it's almost like, uh, it just sounds and something to listen to. Like, I listened to it last night when I was laying in bed, getting ready for bed. I listened to it this morning when I was in the bathroom, brushing my teeth, taking a dookie, taking a shower. That's, that's how, it's just music to have on in the background. And uh, there's one song, Terra Incognito, kind of jumped out at me. That was probably my favorite one. Also, well, not the long, yeah, it was the long, or no, maybe the last song. The last song on the album is the longest one. But Terra Incognito, 650, you know, what's the name of the album? Or all, maybe We're the Visitors is the name of the album. At first, I was just like, uh, oh, when I heard the single, the title of the single, I was like, no, no, man, I can't take any more pandemic quarantine type music, you know? Radio Silence, I thought, was just like something about just everybody being, we're all in this together and alone and blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up! So anyhow, that's not what this was, you know, there's like, uh, maybe we're the visitors, maybe we're the aliens, I guess, and if you listen to it, it gets like, kind of like a spacey sci-fi type feel to a lot of it. I think the word ambient's going to be thrown around a lot. So don't be fooled necessarily by that title like I was, although I'm easily fooled, you know, I'm a bit of a fucking idiot, so don't be surprised. Then you got Set in Stone, Visitor, Passage, The Settlement, Outpost, so you see a common thing here along with all the uh, song titles. And this here, what is this? Maybe we're the visitors. Here we go. There's Maybe We're the Visitors. <clears throat> Which, in fact, was the long... Uh, eight minutes and five seconds. The longest song on the album. Oh, no. This is Terra Incognito. I'm sorry. I apologize. I know. I'm not sorry. Fuck off. <laughs> if you're that upset that I accidentally hit play on the wrong song, suck it. <laughs> so, anyhow, maybe you can hear this in the background. Maybe you can't. I don't know. Maybe this will get my video pulled from YouTube. Maybe it won't. I don't know. I don't really care anymore. Can you hear that? If you're just hearing subtle noises in the background, that's it. That's the song. This had some drum beats. I had some. This is like a like a Far East sounding thing going on here. Stop ambient hate. No, I'll continue to hate on ambient sounds and music. That was pretty cool right there, right? That was all right. Okay. And it's not bad there. You know, every pretty much everything I said, I would just went crazy with the Pink Floyd a while back. I like hear Pink Floyd and everything now. Occasionally the Beatles sneak in. So yes, this was my favorite track on the album. We're about three and a half minutes in now. Songs all written and produced by Paige, it seemed. Um, at least the couple that I checked out were. Let's move on to Passage here. This is it. This is you passing through to the new dimension, I guess, or something. It's peaceful, it's quiet, it's nice. It's a passage. Let's move on to the visitor. The visitor was only a minute long. He came and went. The visitor was not into us. I don't blame him. Probably showed up, saw one video on that Zappa's 20s channel. It was like, bomb that fucking planet. Alright, so you get the point. So check it out. It's worth checking out. If you love fish and you love Paige, obviously you're going to want to hear this. Even if it's not something that makes it into your regular rotation or it's something you throw on at night. Maybe you're sitting in the shade stretching or something. I don't know. If you're having a rough night at the pond trying to fish, throw this album on. Alright guys, I've rambled on enough. I've said nothing. Not a lot to say. I don't know. You know what it did remind me of? It reminded me a little bit of uh, the music you hear in the daily review that I've recommended. You guys check out like 400 times. Apparently you refuse to listen to me. Or maybe you did and you just didn't dig it. I don't know. I never see you guys over there checking it out, leaving comments. But yeah, it reminds me a little bit of the music portion of the daily review videos. A little bit. Maybe. It's all kind of the same. Whatever this is, it's all kind of the same.
this electronic ambient I don't want to use the word techno nobody listens to techno boom <laughs> 